Uh, I did a typical Golf 8 thing. I turned on the steering heating. Ah. <laughs> Where is it? Yeah, yeah. One more. Oh man. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Golf 8 R. I didn't want to make an assumption because you cannot assume a model's name just by its color, like you cannot assume someone's gender, right? Um, anyway, we have here 5000 R calipers. So this actually uh, already says that um, the car should be far from stuck, right? That's correct. Yeah, so we have the brakes, we have the tires, we are on air once. I guess it has the matching power as well, kind of? Yeah. It's got uh, 450 horsepower and 600 mm -hmm. newton meters. Nice, yeah. very, very nice. Uh, suspension? <coughs> it's a lowering spring from a buck. Okay, yeah, very good, very good. Um, I'm very curious to see how the seats are going to perform because, well, the stock-ish seats and with all the handling mods and uh, uh, grippy tires, that could be interesting. We also have no back seats, so no passengers. No, not good. Uh, or good, no weight reductions. Because, uh, you know, accidents in the back seat lead to kids, and kids in the back seat lead to other accidents. Therefore, no back seat is good. Uh, and also weight reduction. Anyway, um, I think, is there anything else we need to say <laughs> about the car? Not really. <laughs> Let's just go for a drive and see how it yeah. goes. Yeah, yeah, excited. Let's go, let's go. I guess different exhaust. Yeah, it's got the uh, mid tech downpark with the race cap. Okay.
bike crash place. Very good. I Very like good. it. Yeah. Brakes fantastic. The grip, of course, yeah. Uh, it's uh, the only two things which I expected, of course, the seats. Yeah. And the suspension is also kind of on the soft side because the lowering springs, they do change the suspension behavior, especially well on this car that has like the Nuevo Cream mode. Yep. Yeah. Uh, so it becomes a bit Little more bit. jumping, yeah. more more bouncy. So not perfect in a way, I would say. Not yeah. as perfect as it intended to be. Oh. So other than that, it's very good controllable car. A bit on the understeery side, yeah. uh, but that uh, also could be effect of the big wheels and stock. Um, stock suspension with almost no camber, I guess. Yeah, the original camber. Yeah, so yeah. you, yeah, you should, if you go for a better alignment, because these tires definitely require something more spicy. Yeah. Ideally, of course, like different shocks with top mounts, that would be, yeah. that would be better, but. typical Golf 8 thing. I turned on the steering heating. Ah. And where is it? Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah that touch screen, stupid thing. Like, why is it getting hot? too hot maybe even because yeah. it starts squealing a bit but uh, still uh, and the steering wheel is cooling down yeah <laughs> <laughs> oh man it's terrible with that uh, touch pot is yeah. yeah I believe in the new golf paint uh, facelift yeah it's better it's the uh, buttons yes
got closed. It's closed now. Yeah. No, fantastic. As I mentioned, love the car overall, um, except for a stupid steering heating <laughs> button. Yeah. Uh, and uh, yeah. The mods you have on now requires definitely different camber setting, ideally suspension, yep. and after that, after that, definitely bucket seats, because yeah. then it becomes even more uh, of a problem, I would say. Yeah. yeah. So it's, uh, yeah. The bucket seats are standing in my living room. <laughs> yeah, awesome, yeah. So, yeah. No, perfect. Yeah. Next point is then the suspension. Yeah. So check that out. Uh, no, amazing. Thank you so much for the opportunity. Thank you. Hope you, had, hope you had fun. Yeah. And all is good. What do we have? Uh, it's typical uh, Volkswagen. Yeah, yeah. Parking sensor, front assist. Yeah. <laughs> everything yeah. is there. Oh, the front is smoking a bit. Nice. Yeah. So we need to get off the track. And yeah, luckily we're in the right lane to get off the track. Yeah. So 